As parents, we all want our babies to have soft, smooth skin. That's why on today's health and wellness episode of Anoki Daily Spotlight TV, I'll be speaking with Bill Baker, owner of Consonant Skin Care, as he discusses some of the health benefits of early baby skin care routine. When it comes to wash products, there are really two things that are important. One is the surfactant. Okay. Every cleansing product needs to have a surfactant. And then the other would be the botanicals that are replenishing any potential drying that might come from using a surfactant. So a surfactant is what actually does the cleansing. A surfactant lowers the surface tension of water so that it can grip onto dirt and impurities and facilitate that washing away. What you want to ensure is that you have a healthy, gentle surfactant. So rather than using sulfate, which tend to be very, very harsh and are known to be the leading cause of contact dermatitis, mm -hmm. we use a coconut-derived surfactant, which is very gentle but equally as effective. And then when it comes to the botanicals, you want to be replenishing those natural oils that get drawn out during the cleansing process. Okay. So we have loaded with botanicals, but in particular, we have a high concentration of calendula. Okay. And calendula for babies is very calming and very soothing for their skin, so it can reduce any potential irritation. When it comes to moisturizers, what you want to be watching for, I believe, is both what's in the product and what's not in the product. Okay. First of all, let's talk about what's not in the product. You don't want any petroleum-derived ingredients and you don't want any silicone-derived ingredients. Okay. Both of those sit on the surface of your skin and they make your skin feel good, but they don't actually do anything to make your skin healthier. And next, take a look at the botanicals that are in there. Okay. Botanical ingredients like shea butter, like olive oil, jojoba, these are all really excellent, deep penetrating, long lasting hydrators, which are ultimately going to be good for your baby's skin. Okay. And then when it does come to baby, you want some of those other protection type ingredients in there, like zinc and kale and clay, because they're really gonna wick away moisture so that it's gonna keep your baby dry and happy. Bill, can you just tell us how often should we be utilizing these products? Everybody's skin type is unique. No two people have exactly the True. same skin. And I think you really have to pay close attention to your baby's comfort. Sometimes we think that cleaner is better, but cleaner isn't always better, and especially when it comes to babies. You can, in fact, over cleanse. So once a day is really all you need. Okay. So do one good wash a day and then follow that with a good hydration. So that's when you want to use the moisturizer immediately after when baby's skin is still a little bit damp because that's actually going to help draw some of that moisture into their skin, which is a good thing. For more information on Consonant Skin Care, please visit them at consonantskincare.com. And for more about our show, please visit us on enokimedia.com as well as our YouTube channel. And be sure to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.